So Daniel interpreted Nebuchadnezzar's dream. Not only did he interpret the dream, but he told him what the dream was because Nebuchadnezzar could not remember the dream. Well, I find it to be fascinating as you go into chapter three of the book of Daniel that you find that Nebuchadnezzar built this great statue. And, of course, the speculation is that that he was building a statue that uh, imitated this dream that he saw. But nevertheless, a decree was made that anybody who would uh, not bow down to this idol whenever they heard the sounds of certain instruments would be cast into a fiery furnace. Now, it doesn't tell us where Daniel was during this time, But Daniel had three friends, and they were all Jewish young men who had come there uh, as part of the captivity and the siege of Jerusalem, and they all three had Hebrew names that were changed to Babylonian names. Their names was, the Babylonian names was uh, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, and uh, the decree was that if you heard this music, you had to bow to this idol. Of course, uh, these uh, young men were of the same elk as Daniel. And they weren't going to do it, and they didn't do it. And so accusations were made to the king concerning these three men. Well, keep in mind that we find out in chapter 1 of the book of Daniel that these young men Uh, Daniel, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego were all young men who had caught the eye and ear of Nebuchadnezzar. And uh, so when this news was brought to Nebuchadnezzar that they had disobeyed the commandment, Nebuchadnezzar found himself in a bit of a situation. But he feels like he has no choice. So he commands that they be thrown into this fiery furnace and they said just to make sure we get the job done we'll turn the furnace up seven times extremely hot temperatures cast them in nothing happened they were not consumed their clothes were not burned there was this roaring fire and they were walking around in the middle of it and Nebuchadnezzar when he looked in there he says one two three Four. He said, I put three in there. There's four. He says, one, he said, looks like the son of man. And uh, I, I, don't, I don't doubt that it was. I mean, God literally protected these young men from this disaster. But here's the, the thing. And I go back to my thoughts of our young people. And how we are taught in church and in our families as we are grown up, we're taught to do right, we're taught right from wrong, we're taught the scriptures, we're taught about faith in God, and there'll be a time when that will be tested. And these young men were tested. And they said, no, we're not going to bow. We're not going to bow to your idol. God will deliver us, but if not, that's the key, we'll be faithful anyway. Oh, my goodness. We've just got to get that message across. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.